This is the second of a three-part series on how to configure a sync between two Macs using a ChronoAgent connection, with ChronoSync installed on one Mac and ChronoAgent on the other Mac. The second screencast will deal with creating a connection profile in a ChronoSync synchronizer document to connect to ChronoAgent. Connection profiles are only necessary when syncing over a ChronoAgent connection. In the right target pane of the Save Sync document, begin by selecting the Connect To pop-up and choose Add Edit Remove Connection. A new window will appear, showing a list of connection profiles used to connect to individual Chrono agents. Click the plus symbol to create a new connection profile. Give the connection profile a meaningful name, such as iMac. This is what will be displayed when selecting the connection profile in the Sync document. Now it's time to select the Chrono Agent Mac from the Connect To pop-up. These are the names of all the Chrono Agents that have been configured on the local network. Choose the one you've configured, then enter the username and password specified in Chrono Agent earlier. With everything entered in the general panel of the connection profile, click Test to test the connection. If you're able to successfully connect to the Chrono Agent, click Next to proceed to the next step. This displays the Advanced panel. The Advanced panel includes several different types of settings. Connection options include data compression settings, a WAN setting, and the ability to reconnect on drops. These should be enabled if the sync is being run over the internet. Custom timeouts are also available for unusual connections requiring longer timeout values. Finally, security includes the option to force all data to be encrypted and enable backwards compatibility with older Chrono agents. Click Next to move on to the Mappings panel. All files on your Mac are owned by the user account that created them. When transferring files between Macs using ChronoAgent, it's important to specify what user should retain ownership on the other machine. This is the purpose of the Mappings panel. Most of the time, mappings are set correctly by default. Verify this by making sure the local user account is mapped correctly to the remote user account. To do this, look for the user account you're logged in as on the ChronoSync Mac. Then select the user account you're syncing files to on the ChronoAgent Mac. With mappings configured, click Save to save and close the connection profile window. The sync document can now be configured to connect to the ChronoAgent. Stay tuned for Part 3 of this ChronoAgent screencast series where we configure a sync document to sync to the ChronoAgent target. If you have any questions about this screencast, ChronoSync, or ChronoAgent, visit our website at econtechnologies.com and submit a question through our product support page.